Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3 and today we're going to be playing a 2v2 on the desert treasure map. This is also one of the new maps uh, that has just been introduced into the game. Relatively new. So yeah, here we go. This is a really naval, naval, uh, ocean dominated map. Uh, not ocean, but yeah, na naval dominated map. Because there's just so much water. Uh, and because of that, I'll just go for a deployment time shipyard so I can get the navy out as quickly as possible so I can get more containers. Yeah. And of course, this map is weird. It's like a triangle thing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to send in one rifleman there and one down here just because. And of course, Kaiman's out as quickly as possible. I don't want to lose this container, so come on, come on, come on, enter, enter. And once the coyote is here, it's almost guaranteed that this container will be mine. Now I got two, so it's basically guaranteed. Okay, well done. Getting my last few bits of administrative buildings out, and I'm going to upgrade my shipyard for level 2, so then I can make some alligators, uh, because this is a naval map, obviously, so you need a high naval presence. I tried to scout green, but there was a fortress here, so that's a fail. And there is a bigger container that was that had dropped here, so I'll get that. And I use vehicle scouting to get that container. Right in the nick of time as some fortresses came. If those fortresses came earlier, I may have not gotten the big containers. Sweet, juicy resources. And my partner also got the big container, it, is, it seems. Uh, upgrading to HQ level 3, and so is my partner. Okay, it looks, looks like we got a pretty decent... Uh, grasp on the situation and when we scout green we see five supply centers level two shipyard okay so definitely Vikings gonna up, uh, they're gonna appear obviously uh, five supply centers from blue blue is already HQ level three with the level three uh, assault vehicle factory pretty pretty nice pretty quick I don't have a level three yet uh, but I'm going to focus on the new Blue's got a lot of assault troops there, though. And here's my first alligator. Has appeared at the at a little under the fifth minute mark. I know it's a little late, but then again, I was not boosting anything to get that out. I do have seven supply centers out now. Uh, upgrading my my assault vehicle factory, getting a special vehicle factory out. You know, just the basics. Okay, looks like my partner's gonna make a few alligators out too. Uh, but is gonna go for an aviation side. Okay, that looks like an airfield and this looks like an avia factory. So hawks, most likely. Okay, alligators have been out. Oh, Zeus and Assaults. Tell my partner to defend this area just in case. And it's like affirmative. So, yeah. Yeah, as of right now, Blue has a pretty big base uh, in width. But mm, not really in administration. Still only five supply centers. Two, three power plants, not that much. Green is still HQ level two. With another, uh, what? Wait, wait, what?
Uh, wh why, uh, what? Wh why did green build another HQ when green only has level 2 HQ and 5 supply centers? You didn't even lose the navy yet. Wh what? It's like green knows that green's going to lose the navy. Then just build more torpedo platforms or something. Come on, man. What? What? What does? What? 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 This does not. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Bruds. Why? Why? I upgraded to level three. Uh, shipyard so I can get some barracudas out because I don't want to storm this area with just alligators because there's a torpedo platform uh, and green may have started building more torpedo platforms oh juicy resources come on get it there we go that's what I thought alligator better give me those resources okay so there's a hammer here I go a little bit back because yeah, I've started setting up a line of defense consisting of jaguars and mammoths uh, as my sole defense along with some gun towers in case. Now of course these mammoths, there's only three mammoths uh, and mammoths do miss hammers by large distance and that's uh, kind of sad. But still I got jaguars anyways. Got a wasp here as well. Rifleman over here, of course. Okay, more mammoths, more jaguars are coming. And then I send in my wasp to scout, and I see there's these hammers, and so I take it out of uh, scouting mode, and I just attack. And there's a construction yard being built up, arising from the ground, slowly. But uh, green is coming in with the entire army. This army is so not threatening. Well, like, what what kind of army is this? Heavy assaults, and, uh, normal assaults, and fortresses with hammers? Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Whoa. <laughs> All these heavy assaults are missing. <laughs> not even getting a single shot. I can't get too close because there are... There is a unit, there are lots of units here and the air defense is being built up. So, can't, can't get, can't get too close. And of course I have a larger uh, squad for defense. Of course I also have a larger navy to strike with. My ally has a navy here, so if blue comes with some troops, uh, it, it'll be held off for a pretty long time because these are some pretty decent troops. And so I'm going to send in my uh, my navy to attack blue, because blue is literally just open right here. It's a nice, juicy target. Of course, I'll send in my alligators and put them onto a small squad formation, so in case green comes in with some vikings, I will be able to engage more effectively. I'll take down the HQ with my barracudas instead. Wait, 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 Barracuda, what are you doing? There we go. Vertex, but of course I got my alligators out. So it will not work. Okay, now that the HQ is destroyed, that's nice. Uh, although I I'm, I did see a construction yard over here, so blue could easily rebuild the HQ here or something. Here comes the hawks. Lots of typhoons. Hell, except there's way more hawks though. So. Airfield here, interesting.
Oh, as expected. Okay. So Blue's rebuilding the entire base here. Okay. Although moving the base this far, uh, that that would be pretty expensive. Blue did lose quite a bit of troops, though. And of course, my submarines are still here shooting, uh, firing upon this blue base. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, we basically have the upper advantage here. Okay, green has some heavy assaults, so I'm going to have to fall back with my armadillos. Uh, but I'm going to send in some barracudas to engage this area. There it is. We're drawing out the heavy assaults. Looks like they're gonna retreat. And then I'll target different areas of the uh, container. Perfect. And then I'll send in my army to back to capture this area. Now I don't mind to uh, clear the force firing from the Barracudas, uh, just because in case Green comes in with a larger army, uh, it'll be engaged. Again, my armadillo isn't taking any damage, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it's taking damage here and there. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll pause the fo uh, force firing. Uh, pause it. Pause it. Okay, good. <laughs> and, uh, I don't want to destroy my own alligator. I mean, not alligator, I meant armadillo. And we're preparing for a massive raid on Green's base. Hopefully. Now, look how many resources I have. I have a nice, juicy 4,500. Mmm. Nice. Lots of anti-air from blue, but there's so many more hawks. You need more anti-air, bruh. And it looks like they ran out of fuel. Okay. We'll force fire with these uh, barracudas. Take down that naval platform and then we'll go in. Oh, bruh, wait, wait, where are the Vikings? Wait, a, a what? Wait, did Green just build a level 2 shipyard and then just not make Vikings? Then why upgrade it, bro? What? This does not make sense. Why upgrade your shipyard if you didn't make a single Viking? And my ally is now crushing blue because those several air raids just took down blue's troops. And of course, I'm just taking down green from the navy, naval side. Oh, and it looks like green is uh, moving the troops via land. Bruh. Come on, you're in the firing range of my ships. What is this? This <laughs> is what? Bro, what? Stop, bro. Green is just losing so many troops. Oh, and this hammer came back for revenge. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, looks like it's time to wall spam. Okay, but I, I, I honestly don't need to wall spam. Look, just look at how many defenses I got. 
I don't need to wall spam at all. Air assist from my ally as well. Oh, acid has been dropped right before the wasp has been shot down. Now the mammoths are actually pretty garbage. Uh, they're, they're literally not doing any damage. Except against the armor units. But they're literally doing barely any damage against the infantry. Uh, yeah. But, of course, that was an easy defend. And we're still on it. Bro, Barracudas are actually pretty decent now, especially against land units. They're actually pretty nice, pretty fun, and pretty, pretty satisfying to watch, I'm not gonna lie. Although that Barracuda missed. And the thing is, Barracuda splash damage is also pretty insane. Oh wow, that that heavy assault actually survived. <laughs> oh, it survived another salvo. Oh well, yeah, okay. And I all. Also started sending in my defense squad as attacking. Uh, so yeah, we'll see some attacking going on. Of course, there's an air raid as well. There's so much going on right now. Uh, nice. Although all the buildings have been uh, out. They're now out of range of my navy. So I can't really engage there. Looks like the Hawks are running out of fuel, so they're gonna go home. And Blue's base has been completely wiped out. And Green is self-destructing their own base. Interesting. Meanwhile, I have uh, made a nuclear missile. Uh, yeah. If the attacking squad fails, that then the nuclear missile would start production, and yeah, that would that would happen. But our attacking squad was way more than enough. So yeah, good game.